Hi, this is Alisa from Low Cooking Robert's Dam. I would like to give the credit to Karen John Brooks. Um, she made this beautiful car with uh, Low Cooking's uh, shattered glass background stamp, and she posted on the website. And I got a lot of email. Um, um, the people just uh, um, so impressed the car she made it, um, and then um, they like to learn how to make the car. Um, it's something like this, but uh, Karen totally um, deserved the credit. So thank you so much, Karen. Um, I love my job because um, I created the, the the stamps, and I really like to see what you do with uh, Local King's rubber stamp. So if you got published uh, by using Local King rubber stamps, um, all uh, always to send me an email and let me know what you do and uh, we always give you some store credit so that you can shop and to uh, thank you, you to using our stamps so um, keep that in mind in mind in your mind um, if you use our stamps you get published and um, just uh, send me an email and let me know and we will send you some um, gift certificates um, you can shop on our um, online store so um, this car um, I just guess I think this is what Karen did. Um, so we're gonna use our shattered glass uh, background stamp. This is only eleven ninety nine, and uh, it's a really nice uh, um, background stamp. So we're gonna use the uh, white embossing powder, um, Versa Versa Mark, uh, water cardstock, some black ink, and paintbrush. There's two um, um, kind of media you can use. You can use a watercolor, or also you can use the reinker. I'm going to post the um, the name of the different each different color, so that gives you some ideas. Definitely, you just need some blue, some dark blue, some brown, and some black. It's very easy um, to use it. So the reinker, you can use any kind of dye based reinker. We're going to use a little bit, uh, a little bit thick cardstock um, for um, this technique because it will be working with a watercolor. So you can use a watercolor uh, paper too. I use a Bristol, so it's a little bit thick. So okay, let's start it. Okay, so the first steps, we are going to uh, create the white embossing uh, with a heat gun. So I'm going to just fa uh, fast forward how to do embossing. If you don't know how to do the heat embossing, please just check our other tutorial. Go to Local King Rubber Stamp tutorial um, um, library. Under the library, there is a 40 plus tutorial and every month they have a few coming. So make sure you sign up for that. So I'm going to just fast forward it and then we don't keep repeating the same technique, okay? Okay, so I did uh, just uh, embossing uh, with a heat gun and with a white uh, embossing powder. You probably can try the clear embossing powder too. I think that probably looks very unique too. Um, okay, so we I already put a few drops of my reinker here. Um, like I say, if you don't re have a reinker, the um, watercolor paint they work just uh, fine. You just need some blue, some green, some brown, darker brown, and some dark blue. So I have my uh, misty bottles here. We are going to wet. The paper first before we uh, start to color that. Uh, it's just uh, helping the color mix a little bit better here. So I use my Mr. Bottles and I kind of just uh, spray on top of uh, my cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to just uh, that's uh, zooming a little bit here. Okay, so we are going to. here. So I use my acrylic, uh, acrylic block as, a, as my um, mixing palette. So, okay. Okay, so wake my brush and I'm going to start with a little bit per, uh, uh, blue, light blue. So, you always start with a little bit lighter color. If it's not enough, we add more. Don't try to put too much color in the beginning. So if too dark, we cannot really um, change it, like a, make it lighter. So if it's not dark enough, we can always uh, add more to make it darker. Okay, so we kind of start with a lighter color and the, like the, um, the color traveling by itself. So just change the spot. And then we can pick a little bit uh, green 
okay not too much you can even mix them together testing on your car, uh, scrap paper to see what it look like okay a little bit green and then we're going to mix a little bit brown you don't really need a lot you know just a little bit they will work just fine okay try to hide your stroke okay a little bit blue darker blue okay remember the darker color we use last okay a little bit darker blue and then a little bit brown mixed with the blue that's pretty much about it okay let's add a little bit more brown just remember the darker color we use a little bit less you know it's actually freehand do whatever you like this is so much fun because uh, the same tool the same technique the different person you come out totally something totally different so now I am going to um, use more concentrate like a more brown okay and then I'm gonna do something like this I'm gonna use it just at uh, the brush and then just a tap for some kind of splash looking that's it that's that's I think what did Karen did with the least car and then we are going to just uh, leave it wait it at it dry and uh, mount on the color car stock I put some butterfly like this that's a beautiful handmade car and it looks very artistic and it look like you spent a long time to make it but who knows, it just takes under five minutes. So thank you for watching our tutorial and uh, make sure you visit um, localkingrubberstand.com or online DVD library. You like the car, click the car, you bring to the YouTube. Check out promotion. We have a great promotion every month. So sometimes a really good deal that are only available online. And uh, also our 2017 Caribbean Stamping Cruise is uh, departing from Tampa, uh, Florida in February 12th. Um, hoping you can join us. Um, thank you so much. See you next time.